Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, I'm over here in San Jose right now, just waiting for them to update my dispatch. Uh, I was supposed to have a um, empty trailer to go to a Clorox facility. Uh, they had a the only trailer they had was full of pallets, so they're switching that right now. Actually, it looks like uh, still in progress. Should only take about five minutes. Um, anyways, yeah, I wanted to touch again on ADP. So another couple things that I thought about. Um, this one really sets the pace for me for my week. You know, if I come into work and I'm already like, you know, doing something wrong that's going to screw up my clock for the whole day, I'm not going to end up with a good day as far as mileage or activity, you know, not like, uh, you know, high performing, right? If I, do, if I have an okay first day, I'm less likely to you know, be motivated to, to do better the next day, at least for me anyways. If I have a really awesome first day of the week, um, I get extra motivated, you know, it's like, uh, I just wanna keep doing better. Hold on a second. Sorry, that was my bad, I had to move. Um, all right, so yeah, so that, um, my first day out, I would, before, I would go get my paperwork, uh, in the office and I'd come out to my truck, I'd clock in and then I'd spend half an hour basically getting all my gear out of my car, getting organized, making my bed, you know, put my food in the fridge, starting to take my notes for the day, get, you know, set up and that 30 minutes is just gone, you know? So I started, um, doing all that, you know, housekeeping stuff off the clock. You know, and that's, that's my personal stuff. That's not work stuff. So, um, and then I clock in and then I'm ready to do a pre-trip and hook up to trailer and go, you know? And so instead of clocking in at uh, 7 a.m. and being out the gate by eight, I clock in at 7.30 and I'm out the gate by eight. Uh, at the end of my day, that gives me a lot of options, you know, um, that I didn't have before. If I was, you know, that truck stops, uh, say it's, 35 miles down the road well if I didn't have that extra 30 minutes available before I didn't have the option to go there now I at least have the option you know if I'm tired or whatever I want to call it a day I have that choice I can leave time on the clock it's not an issue um, but you get the point um, let me see another big one um, was traffic management you know if you're just like listening to music and cruising say okay I'm just gonna um, stay in this lane forever, you know, be on cruise control. These adaptive, adaptive uh, cruise controls, the guy in front of you starts doing five under the speed limit, you're gonna be safely behind him, but you're gonna be doing, you know, five under the speed limit too. Um, you know, it's better to, to drive, um, you know, you wanna uh, have the intent and you wanna try and get where you're going, you know, um, safely just get there, do what you gotta do. Um, especially in like the bigger cities, like, you know, LA. Um, I might see like on the freeway exit signs, like, oh, two lanes right here. And it's backed up for miles, you know. Uh, I sit there for 15, 20 minutes sometimes. Uh, but then, you know, I start to learn that that third lane that's just flying by, there's actual, there's an actual lane to exit there. It's not cutting a bunch of people off. It just doesn't say it on the sign. It's just like, you know, a merge lane or whatever, right? So. Um, paying attention to stuff like that and learning your, you know, the cities that you're delivering in, paying attention, taking mental notes for the next time you're there. Uh, that goes a long ways. You know, I didn't do a lot of LA before I came here. Uh, now I do. I'm not sure if I mentioned this one in the uh, ADP series here, but um, just logging into onewalmart.com at the end of each day and seeing what activity and mileage, uh, and it'll tell you the, the day's pay. Just kind of um, getting more in tune with that, you know, knowing, like, it, it's, it can be very motivating. Some days where I don't think I was doing that well, I'm like surprised and I'm like, wow, I did really well. And some days I have killer days and it actually motivates me even more uh, to keep striving for days like that. Whereas before, when I wasn't paying attention to these things, I just thought I had, a you know, an all right day, you know, a bad day. And even though maybe I didn't, I might just kind of be like, want, want for the next day, you know? 
so paying attention to that, it really does uh, pay off. Um, another thing, some might call this cheating. Um, I've only done it, I think, once or twice on one of my paychecks only. Um, I just found it a, a pretty cool way to extract value. Let's say you're, you know, you want some extra cash on the side. Um, you want just like a bigger paycheck for this one time or, or whatnot. It can also be used to raise your ADP. Uh, so all of our, all of us drivers have this option, you know, on one walmart.com, uh, we can see our day's pay, right? So before the pay period has ended, we can take any day that was less than our average day's pay and we can make it whole. So you don't get to choose the dollar amount that you're paying yourself. Let's say your ADP is 400 uh, and you had one day that was $25 under, another day that was $100 under. If you click on those days and you you know pay yourself to make yourself whole, it's gonna pay you that $100 or that $25. You don't have a choice anywhere in between. You cannot do it on days that are higher than your ADP. So if every day is higher than your ADP, it's not an option. Um, but because the ADP works, you know, as a moving average, if you take away all of your, you know, lower days and all you have is, you know, equal to your ADP and then your days that are higher, that's going to move your ADP up really fast. So you might consider like, let's say you have, um, a big chunk of time off at the end of the year that you, uh, you want your ADP to be higher for so that you make more during that time, or you're going to take a month off or, you know, you got to figure some of the guys were allowed to roll over 10 vacation days every year. So if you already got almost a month off and you add 10 days to that, you know, now, now you can really have some flexibility if you want to start paying yourself, you know, um, here and there, sprinkle in some, some of that pay to raise your ADPs, but also when you're taking off, you know, weeks at a time, uh, you want to be getting paid more than less, um, you know, similar to like a leave of absence, you know, you're taking big stretches of time off. You want to, if you can make sure your ADP is higher. Um, that's a pretty good one. I know a lot of, not a lot, but there are drivers at every DC that I hear that have, uh, ADPs well over 500. And I'm sure those people are doing something with that system to make that happen. And then also, um, extending their week, you know? Um, so let's say you wanted to just kind of sacrifice, you know, uh, a week or four days of your PTO uh, earlier in the year. And then the rest of the year, you know, your ADP is high, you're killing it. You barely, you know, pick up a day extra here and there. And then all this time off you're taking, you're, you're gonna be making some good money. Uh, anyways, that's all I got for today. I'll see you y'all later.